Hi everyone, we're at CR Space 2024 in the US and I am now with Metal Shark who's showcasing for the first time a very interesting looking USB. It's a USB on wheels and it can launch other smaller USBs. To find out more with me is uh, Chris Aller, the CEO of uh, Metal Shark. Chris, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, nice to see you. Likewise, so wh what do we have here? So we have a uh, 30 foot long USV that we built. Um, over the last five years we've done a series of USV projects and figured out and had some ideas what we thought was best and, and wanted to do something outside of a pure government requirement, just something that we thought fit. So this is a 30 foot, it is semi-submersible, autonomous and amphibious. So one of the things we wanted to solve was um, bringing the, the over the road capability with the boat. The front wheel is self-propelled um, and kind of move itself you know, around a parking lot, up a ramp, uh, up a beach. Um, on its own at a low speed and then the front wheel will retract and it'll go over the highway with its own uh, DOT approved tires and brakes and so forth from the back so that was kind of one element of what we wanted to do the other element we brought into it was semi submersibility um, you kind of look if you go up in the boat that the, the center compartment is a modular engine autonomy systems room box if you will and the outside part of the boats flood to the uh, to the open sea so when the vessel stops she sinks down uh, about a, a three or four feet uh, just to deck level um, and that gives us a, a lower signature profile uh, and then on top of that uh, you know it's fully autonomous we've worked with a series of different autonomy providers over the years and really did something here that allowed more modularity um, I kind of mentioned that box up, up top. We've got the ability to remove that box, change out autonomy systems, change out software systems, and change out mechanical items, you know, more for repair side. Chris, what are some of the mission sets for the Prowler? Yeah, I mean, we view the Prowler as kind of a host to many mission sets. We've got um, at least a thousand pounds of payload. Um, and there's a payload space under you for payload that would be, you know, sealed and need to be out of the weather. And then this front working deck, there's a series of different things that you could mount depending on if you wanted a, a weapon system or just EOIR sensors, electronic warfare, etc. So, I mean, what we're standing on here now is the uh, autonomy module, all the computers and software and so forth is under us. And then the module in the back holds the engine and uh, the fuel. So it's it's kind of... The semi-submersible is the outer rim of the boat, if you will, and the dry part of the boat is the, the box that we're standing on. Um, the mast folds here. Uh, we spent a lot of time on transportability. Uh, it definitely fits in a C-130 and series of larger planes, uh, as well as a container. So uh, we really maximize the amount of ways that we could move it around. Um, this current one we did with a, a lithium-ion power pack, not as propulsion, but to move the wheels. Uh, some of that was uh, didn't want to run a diesel generator at the show, um, but it, both are options. So she's got about 5 kW of native power for sensors, equipment. We put some basic, you know, sensors and equipment on, but the mast and the systems are designed to handle, you know, pretty much client desires. And uh, back aft, I see a, a much smaller uh, USV on the wheels. Uh, this one as well. Uh, what, what what is it? Yeah, so we, as we were doing this, we had the uh, some, it's, it's a bit of a gizmo, if you will, but uh, I've always had the idea, and we played with a little bit, that a really small micro attritable drone from a mother drone would be a, a great way to, to kind of create mission capability. So we did something um, with Frenzy, which is what we're calling it. Um, is to really, really focus on inexpensive. I mean, to get it down to the point where it's easily attributable at a, at a cost factor that isn't really a consideration. Also, you know, launch and recovery is very difficult, right? And we kind of looked at it different and said, well, if, if we made the, the small drone able to just drive up the back of the drone, it, it would make launch and recovery a lot easier. And it also means that you could put two, three, four, 12. If that's all you want to carry, you can line the deck with them. So we've got a magnetic uh, latch kind of catch that holds them in different spots. So they just drive up the deck and park and you know, secure themselves. So we've got some, you know, show demonstration, uh, you know, UAS launchers, which are, are really just decoration to really just illustrate that it is possible to add UAS capability as well. And uh, what's next uh, for the overall project? Um, well, she hasn't been in the water yet. We only finished her about a week ago. So uh, first things was to go to the show, um, kind of show the capability and to kind of get feedback from our clients about 
which capabilities mattered or not or, or how close to the mark we got. Um, so she's going to go back to Louisiana and go into trials. Uh, we're integrating our own command and control system this summer and we'll be doing uh, demos with clients and taking her around the country and hopefully just get involved and see how she performs and you know learn and, and keep evolving.